This is Bao's older brother, Lightning. He's been in need of an upgraded basking spot for some time now. Turtles are cold-blooded and rely on basking, essentially like sunbathing, to maintain their body temperature. So having a dry, heated place to bask is important. So today we're going to build the ultimate basking spot for Lightning, with a feature that will make this the greatest of all time. But we'll talk more about that later. Let's build it! We'll start off by taking a quick trip to the hardware store to buy some parts. We'll first build a frame out of wood and cut everything to size. And then glue and carefully clamp it together. All we had were these C-clamps, so hopefully they'll work on land. We'll screw the rest of this together. Completing the main frame. For the floor, we'll set it at an angle to allow any water to flow back into the tank. We'll cut some PVC sheets to size to act as a waterproof floor and walls. We can use the classic score and snap method explained in our balcony grass video. Once cut, we can screw the floor and walls to the frame. And then we'll apply some silicon caulk on the seams to protect the wood from getting wet. A fun hack to get perfect seams is to smooth the caulk using a corner of a credit card. This can get messy and ruin the card, so I'll use Bao's mom's credit card. Now I'll probably have to sleep on the couch for this, but if you want to use Bao's mom's credit card too, here's her card number. While that dries, it's time to reveal the special feature. Turtles are messy eaters. They don't produce saliva, so when they eat, they have to eat in the water. This can make it a challenge to keep their water clean. So attached to the basking platform will be an additional ramp that leads to a separate feeding tank. For the feeding tank, we'll use a modified plastic storage container. The ramps and safety barrier over the feeding tank will be made from this egg crate material. We can cut the pieces to size using flush cutters. This ramp will rest underwater, so like any proper submersible, we'll hold it together with basic off-the-shelf hardware. The caulk has dried, so we'll add a rug to the floor to provide a soft surface for lightning and to help manage moisture. And mount the safety barriers. It's looking pretty good. Let's get this installed on the tank. We use these metal brackets to hook onto the top of the tank and secure it in place. Let's see what Lightning thinks. We're using his favorite treat of millworms to lure him up. Notice when he grabs his food, he'll take it back into the water to eat. He's usually really stubborn when it comes to change but he quickly figured it out and really enjoys it. 